I'm Melissa Shervington, Director of Engage Consultancy. Today I'm speaking with Stephen Hughes, who is the Chief Exec of Birmingham City Council. As we know, it's the largest local authority in Europe, so I'm really interested to hear Stephen's views really on community engagement and the value he feels it can bring to the communities within Birmingham. So over to Stephen. Obviously, the purpose that um, the City Council undertakes is trying to improve the lives of people in Birmingham. Right. And uh, we've done a lot of that in the past as a kind of top-down approach. We know best, etc., and we've put it in place. For me, therefore, community engagement is about understanding, really, what people want and trying to devise and design our services in a way that meets their needs. An example where I, where I think it, it kind of demonstrates the need for that engagement, and that's in the context of Hansel and the Zells, where we've right. done a lot of work over a long period of time. What if you look at the history of Hansworth and Lazelles, you see that government agencies of one form or another have poured money in, right. but we haven't necessarily transformed the area and made it the economic success that it really ought to be. Mm -hmm. So what I've been doing over the past two or three years with the community is trying to get them to design what is their vision of that area so that right. we've got a, a way in which... We can shape what we do that is in tune with what people need. Sometimes it's quite difficult. Right. We started off with a dialogues process trying to understand uh, what people wanted. And it was actually quite difficult to get in touch and talk to people of the area. Right. So one of the things that came out of all that was the promotion of the thing called the Leadership Foundation. Because one of the, what we want to do is identify people with talent, capacity, ability, ambition, who can be spokespeople and leaders for their different communities. And, right. and I think that kind of dialogue is really critical in order that we can shape our services in a way which meets what people actually want from them. For example, we've got the, a range of services which are... Uh, devolved in the sense that we have constituency committees, ward committees, and they themselves have mechanisms, neighbourhood forums, etc., for talking to the community about what needs to be delivered in, in individual areas, and that's something we keep under review. But right. beyond that, we've been working with uh, different parts of the city uh, who are what are described as vanguard communities within right. the Big Society programme, and looking at things like, for example, how could we make small area budgets work? by talking to different communities about what needs to happen. We're also looking at uh, community asset transfers, where, where there are assets which currently we own or run, but right. we think they might be better off operated within the communities themselves. Right. The Big Society, I think, is more than simply community engagement or volunteering or something like that. Yeah. It, it covers a whole host of different areas and one of the things that I think is important is for example in our procurement processes ensuring that small medium sized enterprises from within the city or voluntary organisations or social enterprises get the same opportunities to buy or sell services to the city council and other public agencies uh, in order that they can prosper because I think having that level of um, third sector organisation prospering within the city is a really important part of enabling communities to take part uh, and take control of their own uh, destinies. I'll start with the, the slogan that the, our leader uses all the time, because I think that uh, actually uh, captures it quite well, which is, he says, Birmingham is a global city with a local heart. Right. And both of those things are important. Birmingham needs to be globally relevant. We need to be able to compete in an international market. So part of what we have to do is uh, promote inward investment, do those in, uh, connections across the world in order that businesses within the city mm -hmm. can prosper and uh, compete effectively in a world economy. Because without that, without that economic success as the bedrock, mm -hmm. then we will continue to have social problems of one form or another. Right. But the local heart part is really important as well, 
We're a very diverse community. Um, people from all over the world are, live here in mm -hmm. uh, lots of different communities and a, a high degree of cohesion between them. And uh, each of the localities has its own unique aspects and people in the main enjoy and like the areas in which they live. And what we need to be able to do is foster that cultural diversity but uh, encourage the integration between different cultures and communities based on that bedrock of economic success. What is that we take the benefits of that investment and ensure that they're spread throughout our communities. Right. And the way to do that is to ensure that communities have an effective say in how the city is run. And that is the other part of what we need to do, the, the local heart part of the city. All right. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you, Stephen. It's been wonderful speaking to you today. Nice to speak to you too.